Hi there, I'm Morgan, and today I'm gonna to talk about all the things my one-year-old got for Christmas this year. If you're new here, I'm Morgan Anderson. I have a one-year-old baby girl. Her name is Harper. She was born on December 7th, so we just had her birthday, um, and then Christmas came just a couple weeks later. So this girl is set on toys, which is totally fine with me, especially with quarantine, being just me and her home alone all day. <laughs> like, I definitely needed some more things to help keep her entertained and for us to do new activities together. So please feel free to subscribe if you wanna see my other videos about motherhood. We talk about all the things here, good and bad. <laughs> so even though this is technically her second Christmas, she was only about two weeks old last year for her first Christmas. So this year she really got to dig into all of her toys and she was absolutely loving it, exhausted by the end of the day, but loved it. And I should preface this video with, we still have one set of grandparents to do Christmas with. Uh, so this is not actually all of Harper's toys, but it's most of them. So as I'm going through all the items, if you're wondering where I got them, how to get your hands on them, I'm gonna link everything that I can in the description box below. So please feel free to check that out. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about stockings. Honestly, stocking stuffers were a little hard for me this year because I feel like even though she's little, most of her toys are big <laughs> and her stockings are not humongous stockings. Um, so anyway, she got a stocking at both my house and my mom's house. So we both ended up putting some like puffs and she loves the yogurt melts. So we put both of those in her stockings, which I don't know if that was a good or bad idea because then she wanted to stop everything and eat her snacks, <laughs> but it was still really cute. So in her stocking at my house, I did get her these little stacking boats. Um, so they stack together, but then they also end up being, I don't know, kind of like a train or something. I don't know what you call that. Um, and it has the numbers on the top, one, two, three. I found these at Walmart, but you can get these like everywhere. Target, Amazon, they come in tons of different colors. Um, right away, she was like banging these around. She loved it. Um, so I love it. We can use these in the bathtub, but also really anywhere in the house. Um, and again, it's just something simple, easy, small. I think it was under $2, maybe even just 97 cents for these. So it was a perfect stocking stuffer. So I also got her a few little people things. So this was something that I found at our Walmart. I love that the little people section will have sometimes like individual toys. So for her birthday, she got this little zoo train that has a conductor and then has this like bed that has some other animals. So it came with a polar bear and a gorilla and she loves saying cat. So when I saw this little cheetah, I was like, that will be perfect for her stocking too. <laughs> um, so again, immediately she was excited about it, going cat, cat, cat. So the other little people piece that was in her stocking was this aerial toy. So this is part of a princess parade. Um, it really reminds me of Disney World, uh, the character floats that they have. I love the aerial swings in this. There's a little flounder on it. Uh, so this particular one, I actually found at Walgreens and right before Christmas, they were doing buy two, get two free, which was like an insane deal. And these were only $6.99. Um, I have found them on Amazon for upwards of like 15 or $20. Um, last year I had found Harper, the Cinderella carriage and the Rapunzel tower. I think they were like $5.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, so still even just one more dollar at Walgreens. I had no problem with that. <laughs> uh, but plus with the buy two, get two free. And then I think later that week they did buy two, get one free, which is still a great deal. Um, so I was able to pick up Ariel for that. And then Santa brought her Anna and Elsa. Like, how could I not get these for Christmas? Um, so like you can see, they hook together. And Elsa is so cute. She's got her little snowballs. And you can see kind of like her castle there. And I love that Anna has her, well, I guess Kristoff sled. Um, or sleigh, I don't know what they call it. And then a little picture of him, which I thought was pretty cute. And since Walgreens was doing the sale, I actually picked up um, Sleeping Beauty and Belle because they both looked very springy. So I'm gonna save those for her Easter basket. So as of now, she has Anna and Elsa, Ariel, 
and then uh, Cinderella and Rapunzel. So I thought this would be really fun, um, especially when she gets older and hopefully one day we get to take her to Disney and she sees all those parade floats. Um, and then it can be a special thing that we get out and play with at home. And plus, I love the little people. She loves how chunky they are. Honestly, she just puts them in her mouth and crawls around. <laughs> um, but it's nice that I don't have to worry about any little pieces. And if it's Disney, that's a plus in my book. So one more thing that was in her stocking, I found at Home Goods, I believe. This is Wooden Magnet Shapes. I've never heard of this brand before, but I loved that these were bright colors and some very different objects. Um, on her Christmas list, I had put some Melissa and Doug animal magnets because she loves animals. But when I saw this, I had to get this too. It has little things like your cat, owl, um, but there's also donut, <laughs> toucan, the sun. So there's just lots of fun, here's the moon, fun little shapes. Uh, they have like a teddy bear on here and a train and a guitar. So I think those are things that she'll all enjoy looking at, but also we can practice saying. So my idea for the magnets is to get out a baking sheet one day or something like that. And then she and I can play with these magnets and just be very repetitive with the words. And so then at my mom's house, Harper's grandma's house, um, she also got, like I said, some of the snacks in her stocking. And honestly, I don't remember what all was in there, but I do remember these things. She got a baby shark puppet, but this puppet is so funny. And like my mom just gets a kick out of how much she loves baby shark. Um, but she loved this right away. She knows baby shark from a mile away. We got some more little people stuff. This is a tractor. Um, Dylan's dad is very big into tractors and so was my grandpa. Um, and unfortunately, Harper never got to meet him, but I think this will be a good little reminder of him um, and a way for me to tell stories about him. So I love this. I love the cute little face on the tractor and it moves as you move it. Um, she loves anything with wheels right now. So this was absolutely perfect. And then she also got a police car, which she also loves. <laughs> like I said, she's all about the wheels and the cars. Um, so this also has a cute little face. And I love that the police officer is a girl. She is so cute. But yeah, I love her. And Harper has several um, firefighter things and police things. So she is all about it. And then Santa also brought her this which is so stinking cute. Like when I saw this at Target, I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna have to have that. <laughs> it is kind of obnoxious. But anyway, <laughs> it is very cute. She loves it. She loves that she can roll this little avocado. Um, and unfortunately Dylan and I were not blessed with any kind of musical talent at, by any means. Um, but we both have family members that are, so we're hoping <laughs> Harper gets at least a little bit. So I definitely wanted to get her something musical for Christmas, um, to just kind of see if that sparks her interest at all. But yeah, I just think this is so cute. My sister just drove by and saw me working. <laughs> she lives across the street. Next, I want to talk about the big gifts that Harper got. So the grandparents really went all out for her this year, uh, which is great for me because that means I don't have to buy this stuff. Um, but anyways, we decided we would let them spoil her and she got three really big toys. So first was a kid's zone bumper car. It is ridiculous. So kids from ages one to six can ride this. It lights up, the kid can control it, but so can the parent. There's a remote control that is separate and can override what the kid is doing. Um, it's ridiculous, but it is so much fun. We've had a blast watching her ride it and also messing with her and making her go places. Uh, so I think it's something that she'll definitely enjoy as she gets older. Right now, she's kind of still like, what is this thing? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, but I think she'll really love it and get a lot of use out of it. So she also got a Fisher Price horse and carriage. 
and this is another one that can grow with her. So right now we have the little protector in the bottom so that her feet don't hang out and she doesn't fall through the bottom. We can keep the door locked so that she doesn't push it open on accident. But then as she gets bigger, we can adjust those things so that she can be in control and kind of steer things herself. It's really, really cute. I couldn't believe that it sparkled in person. It has like little glitter in the carriage part. And again, we love Disney. She's a little princess, so it was perfect for her. The other big gift that she got, we're not gonna open for a while. So that's the hard part about having a kid that's born in December with Christmas so close. I didn't wanna go overboard for toys, but I was also trying to think, what is she gonna wanna play with in six months? And so when I saw this cute little food truck on somebody else's YouTube video, I thought that it would be perfect for the summertime. So right now she doesn't really understand how to play with things right, you know, because she's so little. Uh, some things she does get the hang of, but a food truck I knew was gonna be like a little too much for her right now. But hopefully by the time that she's 18 months old, she will be all about pushing all the buttons and playing with the food. And I'm just, I can just see us all sitting outside and her trying to serve us little food from her food truck. I think it's adorable and it's something that we can bring inside and play with too. Even though she doesn't have a summer birthday, she'll have a new toy to enjoy the summer. Okay, so next I was gonna go through the books that she got. She did get quite a few for Christmas. Oh God. <laughs> she got a lot of books, which we like books, so I'm not complaining but I will go through those quickly. So first I got her this Leapfrog Learning Friends 100 Words book. So I am really trying to work with her on some different words. She's got maybe like, I'd say five to seven words that she can say pretty regularly and she's getting better at saying them. Just with her and I being at home all day, it's something that I really wanna work on with her this year. So we open the book. There's all kinds of different pages and categories. So I can just lightly touch this and it will say the word. And we've got fruits, food, meal time, clothes. So far she's really enjoyed just something that makes noise. She doesn't have a whole lot of toys. Well didn't before Christmas. Um, so she's kind of enamored by everything at the moment. So I'm hoping that this will help her learn her words and just keep her busy sometimes. <laughs> and next, these are books that I actually put on her Christmas list as well. So these are the Indestructibles. So I asked for the Jingle Baby and then what's this one? Baby Animals and Hello Farm. These are really cute. I'll show you the Christmas one since this is for Christmas. Um, so this is chew proof, rip proof, non-toxic and 100% washable. Uh, I don't know about your kid. Mine is getting better, but usually as soon as I give her a board book, the corner immediately goes in her mouth and she's already ruined a couple little books. So this they're supposed, like she has honestly already kind of tried to tear this one up and I just put another book on it and like it's flat again, <laughs> it looks fine. Um, so the pages are really colorful, the artwork is really cute, but it's also extremely durable. And my mom actually had one of these when I was a baby. It was a Mother Goose book. Um, and I just never thought that something like that still existed. And I just happened to come across these on Amazon and couldn't believe that like they still made little indestructible books like this. But like, why aren't all baby books like this is what I really wanna know. So the Jingle Baby, I'll probably put away with our Christmas stuff. And then I was thinking I'll keep these two like in the car or in the car seat. That way if she gets fidgety. Like I can just hand her one of these books and I don't have to worry about her eating it. <laughs> Next, this was another one um, that she got in her stocking, I think, but I forgot at the moment to put that with the stocking stuff. So this is Pika Who. It's very cute. And right now she is very into peekaboo. Um, so she loved when I read this book to her on Christmas morning. Uh, she's at the point where she's like putting a blanket over her face or her hands up here. And then I'm realizing, oh, she's trying to play peekaboo. <laughs> Cause then she takes her hands down really fast and like waits for me to say boo. Uh, it's really cute, but that was a cute book. Uh, my mom also got her these, the one, two, threes of thankfulness 
and the ABCs of Kindness. These are both really cute. I like board books that are a little bit longer so that it takes more than 30 seconds to read them sometimes. Uh, and these are great for that. Um, it's not like they're terribly long, but just a good amount of words in it that you can make it last for like five minutes. <laughs> uh, and also I don't get tired reading them over and over again because I really love the message that they have. My sister got her this Kindness Makes a Strong book. I love this illustration. I love the bright colors. This one doesn't have a ton of words in it, but I love looking at the picture and talking to Harper about the tent in the tree and the bird and the nest. Um, you know, just pointing out the fire, marshmallows. Uh, I just love the fun pictures and all the different depictions that it has in it. And I actually, I really love this author and we already have the Love Makes a Family book. Uh, which I think Harper really enjoys as well. So I think this will be one of her favorites. And I forgot to mention, my mother-in-law got her the Indestructible books. Uh, and she also got her, there was a cold lady who swallowed some snow. <laughs> now this one seems familiar. Like I probably read it as a kid, but I think this will be a cute one to bring out for the winter time too. Uh, it's just kind of silly, but also like the pictures are really fun. And I think Harper will enjoy uh, just looking at the pages. Now this next book, I've been waiting. This like was on pre-order forever. And my other sister actually ended up saying like, can I get this for Harper? And I was like, absolutely. If you weren't going to, I was gonna order it right away. And it's The Office, A Day at Dunder Mifflin Elementary. But The Office has been part of my life for basically as long as I can remember. <laughs> and so I loved they made it into a kid's book because Harper and I have already put in so many hours watching The Office. I remember nursing her in bed and she would fall asleep on me and I was watching it in the middle of the night doing feedings. I was watching it. And even now, like this morning, she wanted to cuddle and I had the office on. It's just kind of, it's my show. So anyway, I love that I can share something I love so much with her. Not to mention, it is freaking adorable. It is so, so cute. The illustration, I love it. But yeah, so if you are into the office, even if you don't have kids, but you hope to have kids one day, or you want to give it as a gift to somebody, like... This is the perfect gift for an office lover who has children. So she also got this book from my sister, The Wonderful Things You Will Be. Honestly, I have not gotten the chance to read this one to her yet because literally we just had Christmas, um, but I have flipped through it and it is beautiful. It is so sweet. I've seen it all over the place this year, so I'm so glad that she grabbed this one for Harper. I love the books that talk about like what the baby is gonna do with their life because you know, right now she's only one. It seems like we have no idea what her life is gonna be, but it could be so many different things. I'm really excited to see who she becomes in the next couple years and I look forward to reading her this one. And so Dylan's sister got her this Disney Baby 100 First Words with the Flap book. I love, again, trying to teach her words. Like this was perfect for that. All of this is so cute. I love this Disney Babies. We have lots of their books and I love the illustration in there as well. Um, so these flaps are pretty sturdy. I mean, if she was in the mood, I guess she could probably rip them off, but I think they're going to stay pretty well. I love all the different characters that you see throughout the book the different characters' outfits and shoes. It's really, really cute. And I know we will get tons and tons of use out of this book. She did get a good amount of clothes for Christmas, not as many as she got for her birthday, but she got some really cute stuff. Starting with, my in-laws got her these Converse. They are so freaking cute. They have little unicorns on them. I love that they're just Velcro. Now Harper's still wearing like a size three, which seems like it's way too small for her, but I don't know, she got chubby feet, but they're kind of small. Dylan and I are both short. I don't know if she'll be in, end up being short or tall, we'll see. But these were so cute. I cannot wait for her to wear them. And since we live in Ohio, it definitely gets cold here. So she got quite a few little hats. So this one is an ear warmer that my sister gave her. It's so cute. It looks like a little unicorn, obviously, with the horn. Um, but this is perfect, like, 
I tend to put her hair up because it's so long, it always gets in her eyes. And I don't always wanna put hats on her because it's gonna mess her hair up. So this will be perfect just to cover her ears and she'll be good to go. And then she got three cute little beanies. This one, so cute. My mother-in-law picked this one out. Uh, I was a little worried it wasn't gonna fit cause your girl got a big head, but it does seem to fit and go over her ears. So we'll get at least one season out of it. It's the CC Baby brand. I've seen these at little boutique shops around us or also on Amazon, I think is where she got this one. I lied. My sister got her this one, the same one that got her the headband. And then my mother-in-law got her this one. I love this because it reminds me of Mickey. You know, so cute. And she definitely needed a black hat. So this was perfect. Also, it's really hard to keep straight who got what. Like that day was just a freaking blur. I am lucky I remember anything. Uh, and then my mom got her <laughs> this hat. It is like so extra, but it is so, so cute. I love the big sequin bow. I love that it's like matte sequin too. So it's not like super overkill. The little poof rainbow balls are adorable. Um, she definitely got this from the Disney shop. I'm not sure when she got it, uh, but I will link this one as well if I can. So this is a kid's extra small. And honestly, this one almost fits on her Like <laughs> She got such a big head, but that's fine. I guess all her brains are there. I don't know. She got this sweater from my sister. It is beautiful. It's the Cat and Jack brand. I love the little like bubbles on it. I'm not sure what you call those, but it is precious. And my sister also got me a pair of Vans this year that are literally the same color. So that way we can match. <laughs> then my sister-in-law got her this cute little mini outfit. This is so soft and cozy. Little matching leggings that are precious. I love putting her in jeans when we have somewhere to go, but we really don't have anywhere to go right now. So this little legging and sweatshirt combination will be perfect for a cozy day at home. My sister-in-law also got her this precious little summer outfit. So that's, that's the thing I'm saying. Like it's hard when you have the birthday and Christmas, obviously right in December. So I'm glad that Jennifer was thinking of her for the summer needing clothes because I don't have hardly anything that's gonna fit her this summer, I don't think. So this is much appreciated. Both of my sisters got her stuff from Old Navy. So I'm not sure who got what, honestly, I forget. But I love this creamy colored sweatshirt that says girl power with like rose gold on the front. It is darling. And anything girl power, we love around here. I love this like pink mauve shirt that says be a rainbow on a cloudy day. Also Harper is our rainbow baby. So anything rainbow I have to buy for her. I cannot resist. So I appreciate other people also getting her rainbow stuff. This. I want for myself. <laughs> this is a pink and creamy colored um, plaid like Sherpa vest. It feels amazing. I love the colors. It's so sweet. And then inside is a little shirt that says rad like dad. And last year for Christmas, my sister Taylor got Dylan a rad dad t-shirt that he literally wears every week, like at least once, if not twice a week. So she got Harper that shirt so that she could match her daddy. It was really sweet. This is also a summer outfit, a little denim dress with the rainbow striped shirt. Again, we love rainbows. We love summer clothes for our winter baby. <laughs> so I love that. I love these little heart pockets. It's just such a sweet detail. And even though these can definitely go together, we can definitely do them separate too. Oh, this shirt even has a little pocket. It is so cute. I love it. So this is also um, like 18 to 24 months. So that will be perfect for her to wear this summer. I can't wait to see her in that. She also got this onesie from my parents. And my parents actually got me a matching shirt. So I love any excuse to match or at least compliment Harper. So I'm pretty excited to have mauve feminist shirts that we can wear together and look freaking adorable, even if we have nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, and the last thing of clothing was a little outfit. I love the stretchy denim. Uh, this is Carter's, I believe. Yes, Carter's. Um, the stretchy jeans are always a win in my book as well as any tops that button, but look like a cute top. Um, 
now she has like the shirts that aren't onesies, but half the time you can see her belly. So I definitely appreciate shirts that are onesies, but look like cute little dress shirts. Cause a onesie just doesn't always look as cute as other little dressy shirts. So she got some really cute clothes and I can't wait to put her in every single outfit. Okay, so now we're moving into the rest of the toys that this girl got. I swear, I thought this was only gonna take me like a couple minutes to do this video, but I'm like 37 minutes in. We'll see how long it takes me to get through the rest of them. So Dylan and I were at Home Goods looking for gifts for Harper when we found this brand called Green Toys. So we we're really into recycling, trying to treat the earth a little better. And a lot of times that's hard to do, especially with a baby when you feel like you only use something for a little bit and then she outgrows it or she breaks it or she's done with it. Um, so one thing that we've tried to do and have done in the past is buy secondhand things for her, um, whether they're lightly used or new in the box, just to keep it go from going to a landfill. Um, but we also love buying toys that are sustainably made, or in this case made 100% from recycled materials. So Dylan already liked this boat when he saw it, but when he read more about the company, like he was sold. Uh, so this floats in the bathtub, but then it also has a spout where you can pour out. I love the details in this. Um, you can see, I don't know what it's called where the captain of the boat sits, but there's a little chair in there and you can see it's different controls and the wheel thingy for the boat. <laughs> uh, it also totally breaks apart. There's no way that like, you know, water's gonna stay stuck in there and it get all mildewy. So this is a great little bath toy. I could also see us using this in the pool next summer. Um, so something that maybe she won't use for every bath, but definitely be a fun treat. And so while we were looking at those toys, I've been wanting to get her a dump truck. And I know she's a girl, but I think girls like trucks too. She loves anything with wheels, like I said before. So when we saw the green toys dump truck, I had to have it. Um, there were different colors. I think online they do have pink ones and maybe a blue one or something like that. But I loved like the classic red. Um, it's just a little dump truck like no bells and whistles, which is exactly what I wanted. It's very chunky. It has kind of a rough finish. Um, I just love it and she loves it. We've been putting stuff in here and then I've been trying to teach her how to dump it back out. So I think she'll use this for a really long time. Next, I thought I'd go into her noisy toys that she got. Um, so one thing she got was this cute little mini. She's like baby mini, she has a little bib on. Uh, this reminds me of the Leapfrog dogs. She has one of those that she loves. Hello. I'm Minnie. Wanna play? Oh, me? Uh, oh no, yes, she's probably not going to stop now that I push that. So she tells you to touch her hands or her feet. Uh, she has shapes. I think she counts, does all kinds of good stuff. So anyway, she's super cute. Harper loves Minnie and Mickey, so this was perfect for her. And then my sister got her this cute little dog. It has a leash so you can pull it and its legs will move, front feet will move. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. His tail moves, his ears move. All these different little things that they can fiddle with. I love that he has the little keys. But I think when she gets the hang of it, she's going to love pulling him around everywhere. We have a dog and a cat. So those are definitely her two favorite animals right now. And when she saw this immediately, she went, dog, dog. <laughs> that was so cute. And plus, we love Dalmatian. So even better. So again, with musical toys, this was actually something that I saw and asked for for Harper. So my sister got it for her. So it reminds me of a Weeble Wobble. If anybody from the 90s is here and knows what a Weeble Wobble is. It's probably not gonna do it well on my hand. I'll see if I can get it to balance on here. So see, he just kind of wobbles around. And if he goes hard enough, <laughs> his little hands will lift up too. She loved listening to it on Christmas day. It obviously sounds kind of like an old school toy. I don't know what kind of bells in there, um, but I just, I really liked this. I liked that it was kind of a wood toy, um, but just something that would kind of 
intrigue her, I hope anyway, and not be too massively big. That is one thing that we got away with this year was most of her toys weren't huge except for the couple things that the grandparents got her. And so then the last noisy toy we got was these keys, which are super cute. I love the pastel colors. Um, my sister-in-law got this for her and I've never really seen keys before that are flexible. Harper has ones that are like the really hard plastic, which are fine too. Um, but I also love that this was like pastel. Um, it's really, really cute. And that kept her busy Christmas morning in between her turn opening up gifts. So I also got her this pack of Mega Blocks. These were really affordable from Walmart. I couldn't believe, I think they were less than $10 if I remember right. Um, Dylan picked the pink and purple and green color. It also comes in like the classic red and blue. Dylan is so excited for the day that she can play Legos with him, you know, and trains and all that good stuff. But hopefully this will hold them over for now. And so then she also got a super sentimental gift and I wasn't really sure where to put this in the video. Uh, so I'll just talk about it now. Uh, but my mom actually handmade this cute, cute little kitty. It is precious. I don't know how she did it. She's been sewing for a while, but still this was like really detailed. It has the cutest little face, a sweet little bandana um, that comes off. It's so soft. Harper immediately was like hugging it, kissing on it, and she's not really been wanting to let it go since then. So I'm surprised she let me take it for this video. Um, but it's so sweet. I'm glad that even though it wasn't her first Christmas, uh, she still got something really sentimental this year because I know for me, those are always the best gifts. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how much stuff I still had left to go through. So next I will do the wooden toys. Most of these we're keeping in their packages to open, you know, in a couple months, kind of when she's played with all of these other toys um, or even next summer. That way she's a little bit older and has a better idea of how to play with them. So the first thing we got was the emergency vehicle set. So this has firefighter, emergency helicopter, police car, and an ambulance. Um, one day I'm hoping to get her the little Melissa and Doug city, um, or the train or whatever. And so these will be great little pieces for her to play with, with those. So this one kind of is trying to fall apart in the container, but this is the rainbow caterpillar. So you match up the gears with the little, um, piece that's in here. And then when you turn it, it turns all of them. So I just thought this was a fun, like classic toy that would be a little bit more like, sensory for her um, and kind of get an idea of how to match up the gear with the right color. And then, like I said, turn it and be able to play with it that way. So I'm definitely into the like old school toys. Sometimes I like a toy that makes noise, but something like that, I feel like might hold her attention a little bit longer. So this is also a little big for her. I think they say two and up. Um, this is a good age for, but I think by this summer she'll be ready to play with it. So this is the deluxe pounding bench from Melissa and Doug as well. This has little faces on, I don't know what you call those, pigs, little removable pigs, um, which is really cute, but she, she loves like hammering stuff and hitting it. I guess just like all kids do, drives me crazy, but hopefully we can <laughs> make that a little more constructive and she'll have a toy that can do just that for her. So this one we already opened because I was excited for it. So this is the Melissa and Doug Shape Sorter. Uh, it has different colors for the shapes. And so you just match that up, but it also rolls and it sounds kind of cool. Like, I don't know why, that's just kind of satisfying to me. It has all the shapes listed on the back so that you don't lose track of them. This little piece comes out here and then you can dump them all out if you want. I'll just pull out one for now, put that back on. And then like, I just have to find the blue and there it goes. So I liked the classic like square ones, but I went, when I saw this one rolled too, I thought she would really like it and she does really like it. It's been one of our favorite toys to play with since Christmas. So I talked about the Melissa and Doug magnets earlier. So here is the one that she got for Christmas. Um, this has animals. It does have cat, dog, zebra, tiger, giraffe, panda. So all kinds of good ones. Again, I wanna get that baking sheet out and just work on putting different animals down and telling her 
what the animal is, the sound it makes. So it will be very embarrassing, but hopefully nobody will be watching. Uh, so I think that she'll really enjoy those magnets as well once we dig into those. Okay, this is the last thing to talk about. This girl got way too much for Christmas, but I'm not complaining. Like I said, it will last us all year long. So my mother-in-law got her a ton of Melissa and Doug puzzles. So for her birthday, she got several that are like the big knobby ones and only have like three or four pieces on them, uh, which has been great. She's been doing really good with those. We have the one with like the dog, cat, and the bird, the one with the dump truck and cement truck and something else. Um, so again, I've been working with her like, what that thing is and then matching it up, getting it in there. Um, so these will be great for her to play with in a couple months. So she got a six pack. I'm not sure what all's in here cause I can't really see, uh, but here's the alphabet. And then here is like zoo animals. And if you can tell, they just have the little tiny kind of like pincher puzzle grab instead of like the big knobby one. Uh, so I think she could play with this now if I got them out, but I want her to play with the knob ones a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna kind of just put these away. That way she has new puzzles to play with in a few months. She did also get us the puzzle rack, which is great because I'm like, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these things. So that is perfect. Uh, she also got these farm animals. Uh, they live out in the country and they have ducks. Uh, we live in a farm town, so we see cows all the time, pigs all the time, barns all the time. So hopefully she will enjoy having puzzles um, with animals that she sees a lot. But what I really loved was this puzzle. So this is a barn, um, obviously. <laughs> but when you open this, then there's an animal in there or whatever, but it's a magnet. Um, so this one, like, she also played with on Christmas Day and totally kept her attention while everybody else was trying to do their gifts um, and visit and everything else. So I love that it has like, I don't know, it's like a two-step process, you know? Has these little doors and then you can pull out the magnet inside if you want to. It's really, really cute. Um, so if you were just gonna do one puzzle, I think this one would be great. That way like it will entertain them forever. I would think so anyway. The other puzzles are all great, but that one's definitely my favorite. So that's everything. That's everything that my little girl got for Christmas. We are so grateful that we have amazing family that will spoil her for the rest of her life, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I'm thankful for all the things that she got, thankful for a safe Christmas and that we got to enjoy her. Um, like I said, last year, she kind of just slept through her first Christmas. So it was really fun to actually interact with her on Christmas day and make some new memories. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I hope to keep talking about real things in motherhood, talking about gift ideas for Herper in the future, and just to be honest about things that did and didn't work for us. And maybe that's what I'll do in a couple months is talk about which toys we really enjoyed and which ones she just wasn't crazy about. That way you can try to make a more informed decision, which every kid is different. So just remember like if you got your kid something and they're not loving it right now, doesn't mean that they won't in a few weeks or a few months. And also it just might not be their thing. So that's, I feel like parenthood is just trial and error over and over and over again. And somehow we will all survive. <laughs> so have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.